guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and today we will learn some common American English slangs and phrases from my favorite TV show, Never Have I Ever from Netflix. And let's get started. Before we jump into the slangs, can I a little bit tell you what is the movie about? Can I, can I, can I? Okay, okay, great. Well, it's basically about the first generation Indian American girl that wants to live her normal life in America, wants to date guys, wants to be popular at school. However, she has this strict mom. Normal teenagers end up in prison. Or worse, working in Jersey Mike's. It does not allow her to do these things because in India, culture is a little bit really strict. Like, girls cannot go out, girls cannot party. Oh, fuck. Girls cannot date guys. Some old loser was telling me that I'm too Indian. And some other people think I'm not Indian enough. And honestly, all I want to do is eat a donut, but I'm stuck here. And she has all these difficulties and watching all these happening is so relatable and funny. And it's also a great way to learn English. What? Mom, I'm fast asleep. The first slang is fast asleep. Fast asleep means I am completely asleep. I am totally sleeping. I'm in the middle of a deep sleep. For example, your annoying brother is coming and knocking at your door and you'll be like, hey, I'm fast asleep, leave me alone. And then your brother goes like, oh really? Okay, then we'll eat pizza by ourselves. And you'll be like, oh no, 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 I'm not fast asleep anymore. And the next slang that I really loved the most was over my dead body. It's a famous phrase of mothers, honestly. Over my dead body. Over my dead body means basically never. You will never do this. Or even though if you want to do this, it's going to be really difficult for you to get it, which means over my dead body. For example, hey mom, can I get a tattoo and a piercing? And then your mom be like, over my dead body. And the next phrase is to keep on toes, to keep someone on toes, which means to keep someone constantly active, to keep someone active, to keep someone alert. You really have to thank you. You keep my baby on her toes. Well, she keeps me on my toes too. As you can see in this series, Debbie's mother, she thanks Ben Gross for keeping her daughter on toes because Ben Gross and Debbie, both of them are smart, both of them are competitive in the class, both of them are the best student in the class. And then she says, thank you for keeping my daughter on toes because in that way she studies a lot, in that way she wants to improve and become better. And the next phrase is, let me make it up to you. Let me make it up to you. I hate that I missed out on this moment. Let me make it up to you. No, it's okay. You usually use this phrase when you made someone angry or when you made someone upset. So you'll be like, hey mom, I'm really sorry. I didn't mop the floor, but let me make it up to you. I'm gonna mop the floor for the whole year. You want to prove that person that you want to be good. You want to make them good so that they can be your friend again, so that they can trust you again. The next phrase is peace out. Peace out, which means goodbye. Let's say you're leaving the class and you'll be like, peace out guys, see you tomorrow. Peace out, virgin. Next phrase is ug. It's not U-G-G, it's ug. Ug means ugly. Someone who is not beautiful, someone who is not attractive, someone who is not handsome, someone who doesn't have a pretty face. All of these together becomes ug. Prashant? Hello. Oh, damn. You're hot. Baby, don't say that to a stranger. I'm sorry I called you hot. It's just like we were expecting an ugo. The next phrase is loaded. Loaded means someone who is rich. Someone who's got tons of money. Someone who is a billionaire. 1.8 million dollars. Whoa, he loaded. Yes, he is. For example, hmm, this girl, she's got a Lamborghini, she's got Rolex watches, and she's got an iPhone. Hmm, she is loaded. Sorry guys, no can do. No can do means I just can't do that. It means I'm not gonna do that because I just can't do that. For example, hey man, could you bring some pizzas to our party? And then you'll be like, hey man, sorry, I have no money, no can do. You do you. It's quite a new phrase. It's common among the millennials, which means be yourself, which means follow your heart, which means follow your instincts, which means just do what you think is right. 
Who cares what other people think? You do you, Vishu Kumar. Thank you so much guys for watching. Please definitely watch Never Have I Ever on Netflix and boost your English. And also watch my videos to improve your English and to have the greatest time. Please don't forget to subscribe and like and goodbye. See you on the next one.